Okay, so bear with me. I'm not sure how the microphone's going to come out or anything like that. Um, it's going to be a lot, so just bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off from the beginning, um, setting up your flight and everything like that. That way you can set up your flight on your consumer series, consumer level, um, Mavic 3 drone. Um, if this is not applied to the enterprise or commercial um, or anything like that. So what you're going to do is, I'm not sure if this is going to have the little screen taps or anything like that, so I'll just read it as, as I go along. That way you know exactly where this is going. So from the main screen here, you're going to tap connection guide. Okay. From here is going to come up to your drones that you can connect to, but you're not going to do that because your drone is going to be off at this point. Top right, you have a camera view. Go ahead and tap that. And then let that load for a second. Make sure you are connected to the internet. That way everything loads up a little faster. Okay, so bottom left, tap your map. Bring that up. Um, if it does not come up where you are, it is fine. It does not matter where you are going to set your flight up. Um, because every, all the data here is going to be overwritten regardless. So tap on the middle screen left, a little waypoint icon. And from here, you can map your pre-flight. Um, we're going to call this the pre-flight because... You don't need to do it for every, every single flight, but it helps. So I do three, four points. It does not matter which one it is. Um, here, here, and for example, here. Okay. Now tap the little paper icon on the middle bottom ish. I go ahead and delete my old one. Okay. So now you have one or however many flights you have, but this is when we have zero. Um, tap save, hit save again, and then you're done here. Okay, now, once you back out here, it's going to ask you, you want to save again, hit exit without saving because you already saved it. You can actually confirm that by pressing here again and going back to your flight logs. Now, swipe from the top of your screen down and um, make sure you have an SD card in here. Um, as you can see, it says for transferring photos and media, you're going to go ahead and open that up. And it's going to take you to your file or your root file of the um, SD card itself. Now, in here, we're, we're not going to do anything other than on the top right, hit the little three dots and make sure where it says hide internal storage, make sure you are showing your internal storage that we can actually see the storage notes on the, on the actual remote. Hit the three lines on the top left, hit the JRC, Android, data, um, DJI Go, files, and waypoint. In here, you're going to have one or two or however many folders you have. One is going to be for map preview. Okay, you can actually see the dot right there. Map preview is going to see an overall picture of your um, flight. That does not matter at this point. On the left side, you'll have a series of numbers with a file inside of it. That is your flight log or flight plan. Um, tap the little folder icon. Tap the top three dots. Hit copy to. From here, you're going to choose where that destination is going to be. So make sure it's your SD card. Anywhere in here does not matter. Um, in here, I'm going to hit copy. That's the root of my SD card. Now, just to make sure it is in there, here it is. The F A. It's the uh, F four double A. I'm actually delete this old one here, that way I don't get confused. And just because I'm paranoid, let's go back. Just make sure everything is exactly where it is. Yep, F four. So we are done here on the controller, and from here we're gonna move on to the computer. Okay, so you're now at your computer. You insert your SD card into a adapter or however you plug it into your computer and you're going to come to where you have your file here so you're going to open that these are KMZ files for which the flight plan gets read into the remote um, and I'm assuming I can't confirm for sure because I don't have any other programs I only have flight hub um, I'm assuming any program that outputs in a KMZ file can be used in the exact same way that we're going to go over today so from here do not touch this all you got to do or touch it uh, go to the rename portion of it um, copy the name of it and you're done here uh, what you're gonna do is come over to your flight hub um, log into your flight hub from here uh, let me go ahead and delete this that way it's a brand new flight uh, scroll down to flight route library hit the little plus icon and you're gonna name it the exact same name that you just copied from the other file and from the next portion on is uh, device, which is the Mavic 3 Enterprise series. Don't worry about the gimbal on or off, does not matter. 
I leave it on just because it's less things you got to deal with. The only flight option we have is a waypoint route. Unfortunately, area route or linear is not available yet. Area would be the best one. Uh, but for now, got to work with a waypoint route. Hit OK. That's going to go through all the little um, setup points. And the only downside, which I'm still working on see, through the code to see exactly why it's doing it, you cannot set a, um, a hover time. So if you do set a hover time, whether on your remote or on here, it will get to the second waypoint and it will board the flight. Um, the drone will hover up until you take control over again. And basically you're just wasting time. So from here, zoom into wherever you're going to do your flight. And top right here are your waypoints. So I'll click there and you are ready to go. Um, what I'll do is I'll start one here and just random. Um, you can manually click each one. And so forth until you have however many you want in the space that you want it to be. Now on the left, absolute al uh, altitude, leave it as is because this is going to go off of the location you are flying in uh, you can change it to above ground level AGL but it's from what I've seen it's giving me the same issue with the hover so just leave it as absolute altitude um, and then you're gonna come over here to your height now this number you will change it but it's not gonna reflect on your remote so you can just leave it as is flight speed since we cannot hover unfortunately we have to have a slower flight now up here is telling you the estimated flight duration um, so what we're going to do is bring it down to about three meters per second. It is going to be a slow flight, but for now, this is how we're going to be able to map with using the um, Mavic 3 consumer series. Um, leave it to a long route manual. Make sure this is straight and stops. What the drone will do is go to every single waypoint and then continue on to the next ones. Um, if you change it, it will do just like the uh, RC has where it was kind of like do a smooth flight throughout and you don't want that so straight route aircraft stops and upon completion return to home um, that's it so what we're gonna do is now move off to the right and waypoint one the first action you're gonna do is gimbal pitch and bring it down to 90 degrees that way the gimbal is pointing straight down now this over also tells you the coverage of your uh, picture for the most part. It's not going to be exactly accurate, but it's a cover. Um, from there, you just basically go off of your other picture, other uh, waypoints, so you can see an overlap. Unfortunately, with um, FlyHub, you don't have overlap options, um, kind of like you do with Litchi or um, drone deploy and stuff like that. So here is what you can also do: take photo. Now, unfortunately, again, you have to do it for every single waypoint where you got to take a picture on every single one. You can't just select all and hit um, all of them. So we're going to do that up until however many waypoints you have and you're done here. What you do is hit save on the top left of the screen. It'll tell you that it's been saved. Go back, click the three dots and download it. Now, this file, if you click open, let me go ahead and put my other folder out. My SD card is on the right and the downloads are on the left. I'm going to make a copy of this one just to have it just in case and drop the download into the SD card, replace the file there. Um, here, there's a couple things you can change. Um, I'm going to leave it for simplicity. I'll leave it in there, but you can unzip this. Um, I use WinRAR, unzip it and go into the KML file. Um, and change everything in there if you want, or the WPML file. Um, from there, you are done here, and back on to the RC we go. Okay, so back on to the DJI RC. Um, again, make sure you're connected to the internet, that way it makes it a little bit quicker whenever you go to um, locate yourself. Um, swipe down from the top, you go to SD card here. Now, you are going to be on your SD card um, route. So from there to the file that you have um, from Flight Hub, tap the little icon, three dots on the top right, copy to, actually before we do that, go to your DRC, to the location where that file is, the one that you're gonna be replacing. And you're gonna delete the one that's on the remote. 
because the remote will not override it will just make a copy of it um and you don't want that so back onto the sd card icon three dots copy to and navigate to where the waypoints folder is on the remote which is djirc to the android folder data folder dji go folder files folder waypoint and then where that folder is you're going to select that as your destination and you're done now swipe up to get out of the screen you're now back at the main screen of the remote connection got a bottom right camera view on the top right and if you did it right what's going to happen is let me load up the map on the bottom left here um you're still finding me if you did it right oh this is annoying um, you're going to tap your waypoint icon there, hit the little page. Now, once you come in and bring it in, it's going to show you the picture of the original one you had, but that's okay. Um, and it's still telling you that you have four uh, waypoints, which is that has not updated because you have not run it since. So tap it to load it. And if you did it correctly, it will bring up your new file, which is super sloppy right now um, from the fly hub. So tap one. And then your altitude uh, meters is times three. So I don't want mine I'm at 300 feet. I want mine. Uh, I, can't, I don't think I can because of the uh, recording icon. Oh, I can move that. Okay, great. So I want mine at about 150 feet. Uh, right about there. Hit apply all. Hit okay. That way all your waypoints are now at 150 feet or so. Um, on each individual one, if you didn't do it through the uh, fly hub make sure you hit take photo or video however you were doing it um, make sure that hover is at zero do not hover because if you do hover you're going to go from waypoint one it's going to go to two it's going to face to the north because that's the default on the code it's going to face north and it's going to board the mission um, you don't want that obviously so with a slow speed like this you should be able to take okay pictures for mapping um, your global speed go ahead and break it down as well to about three make make a match with the other one um three meters per second three meters per second once you're done here you can save you can do whatever you want with this just do not hit um hover do not modify the hover on any of them uh, from here do not hit a uh, point of interest because you're not doing point of interest flight um, you can save this that way it's updated and now you can see the actual icon is updated as well and it tells you it has 17 oops has 17 um, waypoints from here turn on your drone hit three dots make sure everything is here uh, on, this was one big thing uh, if you don't update it from the KMZ file make sure that on signal lost you want it to go back to return to home that way it does not continue the flight plan um, because if you lose your drone then you're kind of screwed so from here you start at waypoint one or whichever one you want to start at hit back and then once you connect your drone all you gotta do is hit next and it'll automatically do everything once you take off and that is that